Okay, is that running? Are we better? We have audio now? You can hear me? Fucking f Okay, there we go. I don't know what was wrong with this thing. Okay. There, we're doing good now. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't default. Anyway. So, cooking stream. Okay. So where's the? I start off with the big pot. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's down here, isn't it? Oh, hey, Cash. Where are you, kitty? Hey, Cash. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Aww. Hey, this is Cash. Say hi. for no reason. <laughs> She's a good cat. Just growls and hisses instead of normal cat noises for some reason. Figure. It's mostly cooking the meat that I'll probably need a little bit of guidance on. I guess I don't need it tilted over that much.
I usually like to fill it up to the about right. Oh, a little bit heavy. Putting in uh, three different types of noodles. Sedentani. I love these things, these spiral noodles. Mm. I want to wait till the water starts boiling now. That way they're not just soaking. for water to boil. Mini pane. I wanted the full size, but I didn't have any. or bow ties. <laughs> Haven't had three different type of noodles, pasta in a very long time. Mm -hmm. I mean all this cooks at roughly the same time. Let's see. Nine minutes. This says eleven. And this is 11, so honestly, 11 minutes sounds fine since this one's 9, and who cares if mini pan is just slightly overcooked. You know, when pasta overcooks, it just becomes softer. <laughs> it's like impossible to burn pasta unless you run out of water. <sighs> Well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep them boiling until they become, like, all three types become tender. Obviously. I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. A tree killed you. A tree. I am stupid!
80% lean too. These things are... Is that, beef, is that beef or pork? Um, just beef. Just beef? Yeah, it's pure beef. Mm -hmm. I had a choice between beef and beef and pork, but I'm like, eh. I'm already going to have bacon. That's just, that's just too much pork. Uh, I like a mix of beef and pork. It, uh, it gets more juicy. I mean, I, I like it too when it's a mixture. The pork definitely adds flavor while the beef is body. Uh-huh. Oh, the pan should be in the stove. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, hmm. This pan has seen better days. That coating, that Teflon coating is coming right off. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's not that bad. But... Oh yeah, the, well, bacon only takes a few seconds to cook, right? Yeah. Yeah, do that last. Yep. Uh, right. Where's the oil? Oil should be in... Ah, uh, here, here yes. Yep. She doesn't really have much of a storage system, does she? Yeah, here it is. Canola oil? Yep. Okay. Canola oil is perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. I guess as long as it's a it's a vegetable oil, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I prefer using sunflower seed oil. That's my thing, but mm. canola is perfectly fine. Plus, I mean, heck, they make fuel out of this stuff. Hey, the price was right. Cover the whole bottom of the pan in it, right? Yep. Cover the bottom of the pan. Uh, I wouldn't set the set it on yet because I need to peel this garlic so we can get the garlics. All right. We'll in there for the moment. Or is it called garlic? <laughs> well, better than grunge leak. Grunge leak? What is, what is grunge leak? <laughs> that sounds horrible, dude. <laughs> I don't think I want to have any grunge leak. But garlic, garlic, garlic. That's the fancy French way of saying it. Grunge leak. Oh my god, dude. That 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 sounds. I don't know where that came from. I don't. I don't want to know where that came from. I don't want to have any of that ever. Oh. Yeah, trying to get this oil over this pan evenly is hard when there's a hump in it. It's like someone whacked somebody over the head with it. Yeah, it's the <laughs> pan is uneven. Everything's uneven. Yeah. All the knives suck. Pans suck. I mean, it's not hard enough to give her to get her a couple of new pans. They're cheap nowadays. Yeah, they're dirt cheap. You can get you get a whole set for ten bucks, like. AP set. Yeah. I mean, I, I would splurge and spend 20 on a nice, like a Paula Dean set. Mm. I like those that are the, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, like the, the diamond grade or whatever Teflon? Mm. It's like the, I don't know. I don't know. It's a specific kind. I know it when I see it, but it's like, it's the mid grade stuff. It's actually technically the best. Cause that high that high grade stuff is actually trash. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to use the high grade stuff. Yeah, that stuff That's... is it's it's they're just robbing you of money with that stuff from what I've heard. That the low grade is doable, but it it breaks easily. The mid grade is like perfect. Well, as somebody who's been a professional chef, I can tell you mid grade is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And that high grade is literally it's it's like buying an alienware. Yep. <laughs> you spend two thousand dollars for the logo and the rest of it's a carburetor. <laughs> Yeah, the high grade stuff it doesn't it doesn't do any better, and plus it doesn't 
it won't take the constant use. So the more you wash it, the, it just gets destroyed. Oh yeah, because it's basically a sp it's a sprayed on Teflon. Yeah, yeah. It's not. And I'm not being eighty dollars. Yeah, not the baked in Teflon. Yeah. The baked in is what you want. Yeah. Like you can tell at this point, this was like, yeah, this was baked on at one point, but low grade Teflon, so it just eventually peeled off. Everything breaks down eventually, especially yeah. when it comes to dishes. That new stuff though is almost it's almost indestructible unless you're like scraping at the pan. If you, under normal use, it should last like twenty years. Yeah. But well, there's also commercial and home use type true. stuff. Because nowhere in the kitchen that I've ever worked at that we used anything with Teflon. You just use steel. <laughs> Mustard fan. Um, it's because I'm familiar around him, so it's easy for me to communicate. Also, random topics that I'm, you know, I know somewhat about. What was that? He's like, oh, you can't communicate. To, can't communicate well online. Well, it's like, yeah, to a bunch of random people. Mm. <laughs> well, of course, we're communicating. We've lived together for years. Pretty much. About what? Close to three years? Yeah, yeah. Three years, yeah. Yeah, I got divorced about a couple years ago and I moved in. Yeah, I, w I was at the other place for like a year and a half. Yep. Yeah, that was like a year and a half, yeah. I've been here about half a year now. Well, you were at that other place down south for a bit. Yeah, I was there twice. That was not a fun situation. Didn't work out? No. I was basically led there on a lie. Mm. Oh, it's starting to boil. I swear, someone needs to do a scientific study of if actually staring at boiling water makes it boil slower. I, I think almost, it, I, I, I feel like it does. Like, I think what's funny is I've, I've heard some people mention that ovens how they work is actually working with quantum physics, like how an oven actually works. Okay. Don't, Don't forget, forget to salt, salt the, the pasta, pasta water. water. Salt the pasta water? Really? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. You didn't salt the pasta water? I usually don't, because the, hey. last, the last time I did, I dumped okay. the whole damn salt <laughs> sticker in it. Oi, Maron, you gotta salt the pasta water. <laughs> like, the last time I did it, I put a little bit in, it wasn't quite up to my taste. I didn't put the salt shaker lid quite all the way on. Well, and, you gotta, you, and you gotta put a little oil or butter in there, okay? <laughs> that that'll make the pasta a lot better. Trust me. Hmm. Uh, who did the subs? Because I can't see from here. Yeah. Oh, event list. Hey, thanks, uh, Lone Brow. Wait. Where's the alien count and pink daddy? Thanks for the subs. There we go. I had to look at the event list. I've never streamed on phone before. This is really weird. Clean my glasses? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they look like I've been in the mud. Ah, uh, that's the problem when my phone camera is more high def than my own vision. <laughs> Alright, now let's... we're almost done with the garlic here. Is that better? Brad getting carried by a mortal chef. Ah, when go to terms work in real life. Seeing garlic chopped up like that. Are those, are those like garlic pits? No, basically you want to cut the garlic as thin as you can. Mm. So this way it kind of dissolves mm. in the oil. Almost kind of dissolves. Mm. It's a different, I'm used to the type of garlic that's just like slices. Like, sli like along its layers. <laughs> Not used to seeing it like that. Where it looks more like a root vegetable. I mean, if it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an it, I mean, it, it is a root vegetable, Mike. Yeah, but you don't usually see it cut up like a carrot. Yeah. 
I guess it's because he's a small garlic. And no, this is just a way of cooking. Hmm. All right. Don't put oil in the pasta water, you peasants. It does nothing and is a waste of good olive oil. Oh my god. Are you a chef? Clearly not. Oh cheese eating Brit, thanks for the thanks for the party of eight. <laughs> I think that's the only sound effect that horse hasn't modified. <laughs> And now that I mentioned that he's going to modify it, oh great. Why'd I run my mouth? <laughs> I can't tell if I was saying that ironically or intentionally anymore. Ah, life was too hard. Don't put oil in the... Oh my god. I mean, oil and water don't mix. You put oil in the water, it's just going to sit there like a blob. You're, you could literally my, scoop my, it out with a spoon. Or, it's pasta. That oil is going to soak into the pasta as it boils down. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that too. That's not going to... That'll make the noodles rubbery, right? No. That'll make the noodles a lot tastier. Well, I guess if it depends if it's a broth oil. Yeah, it's a broth oil. Would, yeah, I can see that working. Yeah, you usually don't... you put that after the fact, though. Like once you drain it, you would mix that in. No, 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 no. You want to add a little oil or a little butter as you're cooking them. Oh yeah, the butter. Yeah, I guess it's technically also oil. Yeah. Yes. But it's more what that's water soluble more. If it, it works the same. Oh, it's because of the salt, right? The salt breaks down the oil. So that's the kind, science behind kind, it? Kind of, yes, no. <laughs> it's funny, cooking is basically a science when you think about it. No, cooking is an art, it's not a science. Right. If you do it scientifically, if you do measurements, you're not going to cook correctly. True. You, you want to get a copy of someone else's dish, but it won't be your own. Yeah, exactly. You want to always put your own spin on things mm -hmm. when you're cooking. But, oh yeah, what I was saying before, before I basically cut myself off, was like they said that apparently like the way ovens cook is through essentially quantum physics. So some, like it's quantum mechanics that allow the food to cook evenly inside an oven instead of just from one side, which is kind of, it's kind of weird. So it almost makes sense where, because... Quantum physics have a weird thing when when they're observed they have different behavior. So maybe there is some actual credence to if you're staring at boiling water it won't boil. Yeah, because I, I believe so. There's probably some quantum mechanisms going on with just adding all this energy. Yeah, you're just adding all this energy to this to water which has weird properties in its own, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw a video before of the properties of water which are very strange, especially when you put temperature extremes. Like if you freeze water too much, it becomes a weird semi-solid that has its own weird behaviors, and if it's boiled too much, it uh, explodes. <laughs> well, have you ever thrown water when it's cold out? Like when it's freezing out? You take a pot of boiling water, you take it outside, you throw it out, it turns into ice immediately. It's yeah, fun. all of its energy just gets evaporated midair, which is weird because you do it with any other kind of liquid, even like like boiling oil. You throw that out there, it ain't gonna freeze. It's gonna sit in the water. It's gonna sit in the ground for a while before it freezes, if it even does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> liquid metal, same thing. I mean, it'll solidify right. after a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, because all the oil's in the edge. Yeah, the pan. Because it's annoying yeah, the, pan. The pan's not. The way this pan is, maybe it wants to just get a hammer and just like just push <laughs> down in the middle. I thought it would do anything, no. Anything no, it's just throwing it out. Just she doesn't want to throw it out. Mm. Whatever. I mean, the other pan is in a little better shape, but that's a cast iron pan. I don't like working with those. 
I love cast iron pans, but uh, what else are we working with spice wise? Most well, spices are spicy because you know Joel. What's in that's a medicine cabinet? So who was it that called me a peasant on the stream? Someone did? Yeah, with the oil? I don't know who it was. Oh yeah, there's there's more spices in here. Oh, oh! Cook, Cook the, the goddamn, goddamn meal, you goddamn, goddamn ape. Stop, Stop spectating. <laughs> oh, please. You love looking at me. <laughs> Hundred and thirty-nine people already. Okay. I only expected like seventy for this cooking stream. Okay. That's wow. All right. It's a small kitchen as well. I'm just trying to stay out of his way a bit. You know the saying: too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. We're cooking together. Oh yeah. yeah. We're doing this together as friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to lower that. Pasta will cook really quickly. Oh yeah, it's, it's boiling now, yep. Yep, let's get this up a little higher, get a little more oil in here. Actually, that is boiling now, so you probably just add the pasta. Yeah, that's boiling. Yeah, that's definitely boiling. Oh yeah, that's definitely boiling. Go ahead. Yep, yep, yep. So it'll definitely simmer down a moment. <laughs> simmer. Oil in here. Trying to get them to brown? Yeah, just a little bit. I think that thing was because it was off this whole time. So it wasn't actually cooking. Yeah. I probably should have had it on low. Yeah. Well, you want to get the garlic just a little bit brown, just a little bit before you add the meat to it. Mm. Right, because so when, it, when it starts browning is when it starts. The juices come out. Yeah. yeah. Once it gets really brown, that's all the flavor coming out. Yeah, because they add the meat in too early. It, yeah, yeah, this it, is the not, temperature difference is not. Yeah, enough. if you add the meat too early, this is never gonna the garlic is never gonna brown, it's gonna be raw. Yep, because the heat is dist it's distributed too much. And by the time that would start browning, you're starting to burn that. Yep. Because meat does not take long to cook. No. I mean heck, you can you can go out in the sun for a few hours and start cooking. And that's just from sunlight. <laughs> yep, so we just want to brown it slightly, ever so slightly, and then add the meat to it. Mm hmm Okay, now it's starting to, there we go. Yep, now it's starting to go. Beautiful. Good enough. Now the oil is nice and hot. You see it's bubbling. Yep. Sorry the water took so long to boil. I was watching it the whole time. Har har. Any more comments from the peanut gallery? And I swear I'm coming over your house. <laughs> I mean they're sending me a dollar for every one of those. Ooh. Here, both of yeah. yeah, at least it didn't skip me on the meat. What even is this pad? Nope. Just a uh, blood pad. Oh, so the walk in the flavor? No, it soaks the blood up. Oh. Makes sense. It's like a foot pad. For an athlete, basically. Well, similar concept, I guess. Brad, since you're just the glamorous assistant, maybe you could bring the camera over to where the chef is working. Uh -huh. I mean, I can bring the camera closer, sure. 
Alright. Uh, pepper. There we go. Pepper. pepper. Oh, here he is. Is it? That is. Yep. Doesn't feel like there's much in it left. Much. But... I swear I had a stupid syndrome where I split my sentences in half. No, it hurts. Add a little bit of pepper to the mac. Any spice in this usually good. If you know what it tastes like, just add some when you're cooking. You know what I find I found really interesting is like, you know, the I was today years old when I found out type of post. Uh-huh. Where it's like paprika is apparently just ground up peppers. No, not even a specific type. It's literally just ground up I would think with like red pepper. Yeah. It's it's a specific variety of red pepper. But it's just ground up peppers. But they just they kind just of, yes. paprika. Speaking of, that would not be a bad idea. Hmm. Some paprika? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work, sure. It's a goulash, right? True. With paprika? Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. Not a town well, yeah. It's a goulash, it's not technically a goulash. Well, well it's, it's paprika it's, is very it's very Romanian dish. Hmm. Just I look at Spice. Google images of, of uh, goulash and it's a stew. You can make goulash a hundred different ways. Mm. That's, mm. that's probably why they called it goulash because it's literally Ooh. just three different, three different types of noodles, three different types of meat sometimes. Oh, that smells great. What is it? Majorum basil, rosemary, thyme, oregano. Smell it. Mm. Oh, thing. Italian seasoning. Yeah. I can smell the salt. Yeah, you want to go Mediterranean with this? Sure. Okay, we'll do my Mm-hmm. It's not going to be my mother's recipe, but honestly, that was bare bones to begin with. Hey, a little extra seasoning never hurts anybody. Mm-hmm. Especially since it'll cook down anyway. Yeah, well, we'll try something new. It's okay. Oh yeah, also for flavoring is the fact we're going to be using the onion sauce. Oh, you want to use the onion sauce? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's onion flavor prego. We can do whatever. Because I figured, I was like, I would go meat flavor, but it's already going to have two different types of meat in it. I, I, thought, that, I thought it was mushroom sauce. It is mushroom. Did I, wait, what did I say? You said onion. Why did I say onion? It's mushroom. Yeah, this is mushroom sauce. Uh, yeah, I don't my think... brain hasn't been working today. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need both of those. I think just one is going to be good. I got two just in case. Because I remember I ran out of sauce last time. I yeah, cooked yeah. Today. Yep. Well, yeah, <laughs> that last was time a, we cooked. That was a very bland mess because I was a can short. I mean, I put it in after, but I think after people tasted it, I ended up eating the rest by myself because no one wanted it. No, we ate not after I put the other can into it, I ended up eating the rest by myself, I think. Did you? Yeah. No, I remember eating it. I remember Joel eating it, too. Yeah, before I put the extra can in it. Mm. But I think it was just people, it was just so bland, no one wanted more. Don't blame them. <laughs> hey, that was one of your first times trying cooking, so, you know. It's, an, it's a learning experience. Yeah, I mean, I've made mac and cheese before a bunch of times, but usually I just go by the directions. Mm. It's just not often that I actually make something just by myself. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is browning nicely. Hmm. Oh yeah. Even with the weirdness of that pan. Uh-huh. You just gotta shove it into the corners now and then. Yeah. You work with what you got. Yeah. You have shitty tools, make them work. <laughs> Yeah, at least what's really nice about an electric stove is it's more even heating. Now, I, I, I hate electric stoves so much. I love gas stoves. So you, could, you could adjust the temperature. I, I know exactly how it's going to heat. With an electric stove, it's... Bradley, I hope you washed your hands before cooking. The fuck is Bradley? Me? 
It's my middle name. Your middle name is Bradley? Yes. I never knew that. Hmm. I thought I told her. Yeah. You probably did tell me. I probably just... I mean, my my Twitch name is Bradley Dragon, so... Oh, that's right. It is. Okay. It's just because, you know, Mike's such a ridiculously common name. Right? You walk into a room and say, Delivery for Mike, and six people look up. And yes, we all have washed our hands. We all keep, keep decent hygiene around here. <laughs> what did you always have to have now? 133. Was it alright? That's cool. Somebody wants to watch me cook. Go ahead. <laughs> I once had 180. I'm not sure what happened. I think it was just really moldy at one point. That's usually what happens when I get to the point in a stream sometimes where I'm just molding like crazy. I get a big surge in viewers. When you're what? Molding. What does that mean? Getting very upset. Oh. That's what it means. That's molding. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't stream, so... Oh. I would not know what that meant, good sir. I'm not really sure where the word came from. It, it sounds like mad bolding or something. Like, mixed together. Well, I am bolding. Alright. Uh, what are they saying? This stream Bradley, is we, we are, are proud, proud of you. Taking, taking care, care of, of your eating. eating. From, From Robert, Robert and Jean, Jean your, your dads. dads. Are who? <laughs> I guess anybody could qualify for my dad since my dad is basically a wall with his own family, so whatever. He was never a part of my life, so basically anybody could fill that role. My grandfather basically did. Yeah. I like my dad, me and my dad are best. We're best friends. Yep. Mine has his own family in Ohio. Where in Ohio? Uh... What's the capital of Ohio? Columbus? Yeah, they're in Columbus. Yep. He, uh... Well, last I knew, his job was like fixing computers and he liked riding motorcycles. Yeah, he's a biker, apparently. Sounds like my kind of dude. Mm. He plays guitar, I think. At least I think he plays guitar. Or was it? Uh, no, maybe that was one of his friends. But I, I used to play bass. Mm. What's odd is me and him don't look alike. So what's what's the deal between you guys? He left when I was born because he couldn't handle having a kid. Mm. That's fine. I have no idea where my daughter is. Because her mother left. Mm. That's looking real good. Just a little bit left of the Yep. This browning is looking real good, guys. If I were you, I would pump up the heat on the pasta. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. We still might have a little time here. It's starting to boil on the side, I can see it. Because you yeah. don't want it to explode. Like that, pot, like that pot's full. Yeah, it's really high with the water and I'm uh, just... Yeah. Don't want it exploding because I've had that happen before. <laughs> Remember that incident? <laughs> I had to mop it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pasta water exploded. <laughs> uh, thankfully, it was only like a quarter inch of water on the stove. <laughs> But still, I had to mop it up with a towel. <laughs> they were like, Mike, get down here. It waters all over the place. I'm like, ah, shit. Uh, good times. Because me being a dingus left the water a tiny bit too high. Eh. It was on medium high instead of medium. It happens. It's all practice. Yep. Because you know, on medium low, it's never going to overboil. 
All right, now that it's all mixed up and pretty much, mm. I think we're good in browning. We're going to hit it on low. Uh, what did you do with the lid? There's a lid? Yes, there's a lid. Oh, it might be over here. Uh, this is a thing. It's a glass lid. This? Yep. All right, now we're just going to... I was like, yeah, she put it in here. Now we're just going to cook this down for just uh, about five minutes. All right, start on the bacon then, huh? Mix that in. Uh, no, you want to do the bacon separate in a separate pan. Well, I meant when the bacon's done, you Hey, man, can, can you let Michael Bradley, Bradley Dragon, Dragon do a little, little bit of the cooking? cooking? He's, He's a qualified, qualified cook, cook, having prepared, prepared hundreds of McGang Banks. What? A what now? They're just being random and normal. <laughs> Guys, I'm an actual chef. So I'm teaching Mike how to cook the stuff. And he's actually pretty good. A lot of my chat is a bunch of Redditors. <laughs> what you want to? <laughs> yeah, it is lightly boiling. Mm. Yeah, it's on three and a half. That should be plenty. Open this. Usually they have a. You gotta use a really shallow pan for that mic. I know. Okay. I was trying to figure out how to even open this. Usually they have a thing you rip off. This one. Yeah, there should be one uh, downstairs or in the cubby. <sighs> really? Representative slice? What the heck is that nonsense? Nah, I'll just cut this open. Ow. I don't think it was a butter knife. Weirdest feeling when you stab yourself with a butter knife. <laughs> You're just like, ow. <laughs> oh, good bacon. Man, Man is, is not, not a chef, chef obviously. obviously. He, he looks, looks like, like the, the first contestant, contestant they kicked from Master Chef. <laughs> You know most of those shows are completely staged. Um, shallow pan, I think there's one in here. So that's where she puts that, okay. Nope. Where in the hell? Uh, 
If it's back there, I can't see it. It's pitch black. It doesn't look like it either. Huh. Where in the hell? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a strainer. Okay. That looks like a weird thin pan thing. Okay. Hmm. This, this, this can go up a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, come on. Where in the heck is the small pans? Not up here, are they? Nope. That would be weird. Basically nothing in there. Nothing worth going in there for. What the heck? Oh! Well, those are small pots. Where's the small pan? I don't know. It's just empty. Okay, I've looked through every single dang one of these. What is in this one? Uh, Sure, 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 sure. Oh, this is a full pot of pasta. Oh, my. might have to transfer it to the big pot. Oh yeah, the bow tie has got a little bigger than I thought they would. Uh, the noodles are filling up that pot right to the brim. Yeah, stir it a little bit and it's like up they went. Alright. I can't find a pan. Okay. I looked literally everywhere. I found where the small pots are, but no pan. Which is weird. I don't know where they would be then. inserts in these shoes. <laughs> Here you go, uh, stir this. Okay. While I grab the pen. Alright. I don't know where they went. Ooh, that's... Ooh, that smells good. Damn. It also boiled, yeah, it, it cooked down too. Yeah, it's smaller. Makes sense. Mm. Italian spices does add a kick to it. Mm. With the mushroom <laughs> sauce as well, that's gonna be good. Oh, 
You find where someone kidnapped all their pans? Yep. Oh, they were downstairs on the rack, weren't they? Uh-huh. I forgot about that rack. That's where she put up, because we're, yeah, there's not enough yep. room up here for everything else. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Stick that somewhere because it's hot. Nope. Put that on top. Okay. Move it over. Yep, move it over. Because that can pretty much stay now. Yep. I can smell it outside. Hey, Joel. Oh. I'm live. You're live? Yep, streaming. Yeah, we're live, so. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Pretty much right when I was walking up, I was like, damn, somebody's cooking something really awesome. I think you can smell it outside. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little hey, cooking. Say hi. Doing a little cooking show. Hello! There we go. Hi, everybody! <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll let you guys get cooking. Okay. <laughs> How was your night? It was really good. Moving job, or...? No, it was a date night. Oh! Date night with Marilyn? Yep. How was Miss Marilyn? She's doing pretty good. Just having fun. I got some people criticizing my cooking. <laughs> I can do that. I mean, they're on Twitch. How many people do I have now? 158. I'm surprised you don't have your uh, chat thing going. It is. No, I mean, responding to people. Oh, I am. It's just the messages I can only see four at a time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually, if they do a, usually they do a, you know, if someone does a stream like this, you're doing it with a laptop. So you have a little more of a window than just four lines. I could totally be your chat moderator. I'll be the, my trolling self, <laughs> parading all of your people. I think oh, I I'm, you. I'm already there. Maybe you'll get some hate watchers for it. I have like six moderators. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's awesome. I had somebody tell me that you're not supposed to put oil into pasta as you're cooking it. I you like, can. Yeah, it makes it better. Well, uh, so it depends on the pasta, but you can. You're supposed to. Oil or butter? It depends what kind of oil, but yeah. But like butter is usually the better option. No, the butter is a better option, but oil will work the same way. Mike, I think your live stream cooking is a pretty awesome uh, Pretty awesome idea. <laughs> I'm really I mean, glad I to needed... see you doing it. Yeah. That's a lot of freaking pasta. Yeah, three boxes worth. Jesus, dude. Three pounds of pasta in there? Well, yep. it's three It's three different types. Mm. I wanted full penne, but apparently mini penne was just fine, because maybe we want to transfer it to the big pot. Yeah, you might want to cut that in half. Or, you know what, let me, let me go get the big pot. You can get the big pot. Because I think to. if we add the meat into it, it's going to overflow. Yeah. yeah, I told you to get the big pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just didn't, I, honestly, it was mostly, I didn't expect the, the bow ties to get that big. Yeah. I thought they would stay small. Well, I told you to get the big pot in the first place. Yeah, okay. Mini penne, it looks like full pot. Does anybody else have any advice on cooking? <laughs> I, I, I'd love to hear from you, from the peanut gallery. Should I go put on my chef jacket? Kiss the cook. We love you, Alex. Please keep up the good world, and I'd love to see the chef jacket. Okay. Fine. Chef jacket it is. Would rather eat peanuts than whatever you're trying to make. Wash this out a bit. Not sure what's in it.
goes dirt or something in it. Probably just burnt residue or something. Where in the heck is it? Watch, there it is. Yeah, this looks like burnt stuff. Sitting in the bottom like coffee grounds. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice and shiny. It looked like there were coffee grounds in it. Mm. Right, you asked for it. Here's a chef jacket. <laughs> You're missing the hat. I I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> I don't wear a hat. <laughs> yep. He just needs the hat and a little mouse inside. <laughs> nope. I'm not wearing the hat. I don't wear it. I don't like hats. Uh, Gratitude reference. Always good. No, I know what you meant. Yeah. Actually, there is a there's a Ratatouille attraction at, at Disneyland actually, where there's a guy that actually has a, like an animatronic rat in his hat. It's all like lit up so you can see inside it. I thought that was kind of cute. All right, so. What's it smell like to you? No. Nothing? I'm not sure. It was just whatever was in here before. Just, it was like it was like just dark dirt. Just wash it out. Yeah. That looks about that looks clean enough, doesn't it? Well just hit it with some water. Yep. I mean I already did, but it never hurts to get a little more in there. Oh yeah, there's some more left. I'm sorry for what I said, Alex. If, if I were you, I would keep the pasta going for another, another 10 minutes, minutes so we're sure the pasta is actually cooked. Well, we're going to taste the pasta as we're going through it. Alunga humana humana humana. Heart pounds out of chest. Tongue rolls 50 feet out of my mouth. Looking good, Chef Alex. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the, that mask reference. I, I don't get the reference, but... The mask? The Tim Curry movie? Oh. That what? one scene at the bar where he's no, wearing that a mask wasn't, that, that wasn't Tim Curry, that was... Was oh. it Tim Curry wearing the mask? No. The live action. No, the mask was... What's his name? Tom Bruce Willis. No, no not Batman. Bruce Willis. That's Batman. No, Bruce Willis is not Batman. No? No, Bruce Willis is not Batman. Oh, because... Right, because Bruce is right. There was a comedian who was. Oh my god, that guy. I have no idea what the other man that comes to my mind is Jerry Springer. That's definitely not it. No. No, it was some. Oh, who was that guy? Yeah, who was the mask guy? Oh, does my chat now? I'm sure somebody will tell you. Does anybody remember? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yes. That's it. I yes. keep mixing the two up. Jim Carrey. One of the best actors when it comes to out of out of the way films. Because he's just he's so expression. He's so expression. I I don't like him. Hmm. I don't like Jim Carrey. I don't like Jim Carrey. I don't like Tom Hanks. Uh, what was yeah. Tom Hanks? Like was it Fast and Furious? Was I think no, Tom Hanks was uh, the guy with the basketball. Alex, how long have you been cooking for? And what's your favorite dish to make? I'm sorry, buddy. Mm -hmm. I've been cooking since the 90s, and uh, I don't really have a favorite dish, but I make a lot of Eastern European food, because that's who I am. I'm Eastern European, so... Fighting. Were you sleeping in the garage? That's why we couldn't find you. 